ga dukeya ariko nagiriza mu Rwanda so so far so good nta kintu ndabona imyaka ibe 15 tagera mu Rwanda yes ngo ngo vuye hano ukiri muto cyane nkiri umwana ndi kuzuza 13 imyaka 13 yes yes ubu urumva umeze ute famiye bakwakiriye ndumva ari sawa iri so in real ko no muryango benshi ntabwo nari mbazi ah benshi nabo ni hangaha ni mpamvu ambonye ndi gusa nkuru ka famiye ni yene yihe ariko nyine nabyishimiye ko muryango nyakiriye banyigarije ko ari urukundo which is good ku muryango yeah hanyuma tugarushye ku bijyanye n'abantu bamwe bamatonge kugenda bamenye indirimbo zawe ziri muri icyongereza mu Rwanda uraje bishoboka ko hari gahunda zitandukanye zikuzanye ese abari mu gahunda zo gukora muziki eh cyane cyane ari kintu kinzanye ko naso album yange mu Kinyarwanda hari projects inzanye after the project cyo gusora album yange Kinyarwanda either haisangiza abanyarwanda muri mu makora mu mantu zo mu macace or ona kora to Rwanda binshoboke yeah uzavana I started singing pretty much when I was young. I would say like I grew up in, in choir. Um, so I would say like since I was like 12, that's when I started like writing my own music. But I was in choir before that. So what brings you to Rwanda? Is it music or family? Or uh, it's a family project that we're working on right now. Music too and helping those like who's, you know, um, gospel singers, those who don't have money to help themselves. So pretty much I'm going to see how that would help out. Yeah. So probably you have friends? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have friends you said? No friends. Like who like your music? Oh, honestly, I do not know. This is like my first time back in Rwanda, so I don't know if I have fans or not. So like I'll, I'll be happy to meet them if they are. And um, yeah. So if, if they are there, what, what should they expect? Uh, man, honestly though, I really don't know, but <laughs> What I want is just to give them a show, like a free show, if that's possible. How many albums do you have so far? So far I have three and about like seven singles. And what was the feedback from the previous albums? Oh, so far so good. I would say like everybody loves my music, they love the message behind it. A lot of people, are the, uh, when they listen to my music, they can relate to my music. So I would say like they love my music. So far, I haven't seen any negative comment or anybody that said they don't like my music. So, so far, they like my music. So, the, the one that you have, when do you expect to release it? The King Ronda album? Yes. Uh, my King Ronda album is called Ubutayu. Yes. So, pretty much, again, it's in my life, how I grew up, and all that stuff. So, it's like pretty much, it's full of like my story. You know, like if you really want to know me, Isaac, who's Isaac. You pretty much find all my art, my, my whole story in my album. Okay. Got a 12 songs. So you already answered that your album is in English? <laughs> is in Kinyaranda? In Kinyaranda, yes. Oh. Uh, how could you describe the music journey? As for you today? I, I would say like when I was, when I started, it wasn't good at all because the people didn't like my music or like I reached out to like this like a known singers here in Rwanda that even like want to help out. You know what I'm saying? So like, now people started like see like my music, understand my music, kind of like try to understand me if that if that makes sense. Like so far right now, like it's going good, I would say. You say that uh, your album is all about your life. Yes. So what what are you thankful? Man, I grew up. I was born in Kisenya. I grew up in a refugee camp. So like, if you've been a refugee, you know that the life in a refugee really so you wait like every month to get like food and all that stuff so like there's like a lot to be thankful for you know going to america without like nothing so like i would say like it's it's like full of blessing my life you know there's that is struggling my life but like there's like a lot to be thankful for you know like where i mind where i started so there's like a lot to be thankful for you know what i'm saying talking about your life are you married I'm not married. <laughs> you know, I'm looking forward to it, really. You're, you're looking for I'm looking forward to it. When? Uh, man, honestly, I can't, I can't point a finger on it. <laughs> but, like, honestly, 
it can be tomorrow it can be this this month it can be this year so it really depends you know I guess you're not married, but you have plans for kids. Yes. Uh, what, what, what do you think is the best way to for a Christian parent to raise their kids? To raise their kids. To the to raise their kids, uh, I would say like raise your kids like in church, like raise your kids through like gospel or uh, the word of God, really. So like, I'm not married yet. I don't have a kids, but like I feel like those that grew up in church are different from like those that grew up outside of church. So, like, personally, I'll raise my kids, like, in church, you know, teach them the Bible way, really. Thank you very much. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you for welcoming me.